backyard. Well, this is the first one we did. We made this up in my backyard in Franklin. Me and Jim Pasquale had just finished dinner and there was some herbal essence being passed to the left. <laughs> <laughs> and about the same time, I, I really don't know which one of us came up with this hook, but one of us did, and so we wrote it down. Sitting right with my old friends till the early dawn, with no reason to hurry home, cause my baby had a baby gone. Well, sipping on a cold one, start hit me so profound. So, grab me some pen and paper, and I wrote this lyric down. I'm one bug wiser than I was before. Oh, that's right. Right now she's on the other side of them swinging doors. My friends all try to tell me she ain't coming around no more. And I'm one bug wiser than I was before. You're all with me now, right? That you might be. You can sing along, you don't feel like it. <laughs> yeah, all my friends knew what was going on. But they didn't have the heart to tell me she was out doing wrong. Even though I suspected that there might come a day but when the moment would hit me. But I push that thought away And I'm one bug wiser Than I was before I'll sing it, children <laughs> Right now she's on the other side Of them swinging doors My friends all try to tell me She ain't coming around no more And I'm one bug wiser than I was before. That's my favorite part. It's yours too, isn't it? <laughs> it took just about a six pack for me to stop trying to find this feeling. She ain't coming back and things are gonna be alright With this vision come over me in the early morning light I said, boy, it's all over So I had one more but night <laughs> And I'm going but wiser than I was before tomorrow you're gonna wish you sang along <laughs> right now she's on the other side of them swinging doors my friends all try to tell me she ain't coming around no more and I want but wiser than I was before a hey, last chance coming up but I want but wiser than I was before I got a real limited amount of time here, so let me, uh, let me make this quick. For every song, you got a hook, you know. And I think this next song is probably the longest time between getting the hook and actually writing the song. About 40 years. I was living in Atlanta. My brother was between marriages or between divorces. I can't really remember. <laughs> but anyway, he was depressed, so we loaded the kids and him up in the Vista Cruiser, and we went riding through Stone Mountain to cheer him up. And uh, there was this Jeep full of girls ahead of us. Nice young girls, nice young Jeep. And they were real friendly and they were waving at us. Then they would they'd take their t-shirts and they were waving at us. You know? My eight-year-old son said to me, he says, he's the one who actually gave me the hook. He's an attorney in town now, you may know him, John. He says, Daddy, 
there's something about girls in Jeeps. <laughs> so I knew that was a hook, you know. And I kept it right up here somewhere for about 40 years. And I, was, I ran into Wood Newton one day at RCA and I gave Wood the hook and he said, okay, let's write that. So we did and then we went to lunch. Anyways, like this. <laughs> What do you say, dangerous year? Not ten years. It was 1971. That's the year I successfully negotiated my way out of high school. <laughs> I said, I grew up in Pittsburgh. I had kind of like a bifurcated childhood. My first half of childhood was spent in the projects, a place called St. Clair Village. You can look it up. It's famous. <laughs> 
by the time I got to high school, we had moved out to the suburbs, a place called Mount Lebanon. It was a bunch of rich kids, and I had it made. Was, my cake was baked in the projects a long time before we got to the suburbs. Anyway, I went on a field trip in high school in 1971, and uh, they told us that it was a the field trip was going to be to the Allegheny County Jail. Growing up in the projects, I had been to the Allegheny County Jail on several occasions. <laughs> As a matter of fact, they said we could ride the school bus or we could get our own transportation. And a buddy of mine says, I know where I can get a car. <laughs> so that's what we did. We showed up in a brand new 1971 El Dorado, three 17 year olds. We got caught. <laughs> Met Marilyn Monroe that night, she's on the cell wall, had nothing on but a staple. <laughs> I was telling the story to Eric Headley one night, I was, I was running sound for him out of Kimbrough's place with Franklin, and uh, he said, dude, we need to write that, so we got it. It's on his Goats of Kudzu CD, and it just got cut by a band out in the LA, so I'm real happy about that. It goes like this, it's kind of 65, 75 percent, that's the honest of God's truth, you know, just figure out what you want to believe. <laughs> Bye. 